Hey guys, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com. Stop by and download our free Google Ads Optimization Guide. It's a, a free guide where we teach you how to turn around any failing Google Ads campaign. Some pretty cool stuff in there. And also visit MyPPCTraining.com to check out some other stuff we have. A lot of cool free information. All right, so in today's free training, <clears throat> we are going to go through how to create a landing page to run it for your Google Ads campaigns. So for us, we use instapage.com to build all of our landing pages. It's extremely user friendly, it's drag and drop. Very, very easy to use, anyone can use it. And if you wanna make landing pages with it, I'll drop a free trial link in the description below this video so you can sign up and play around with it for free. <clears throat> all right, so let's get started. So we're logged into our Insta page. We will come up here, so you can either create a group or a page. Now a group is just a folder, so let's say we wanna create a folder called Example landing pages. That's our group. Now we want to create a page. We hit create new standard page. And we have all these different options of pages to choose from. They have landing page designs for if you're trying to promote an app, an event, a conference or something, an ebook. These are all pre-designed pages. A webinar. These are really cool. Thank you pages. Pages designed for click through. Two step pages. And it's just straight up lead generation pages. So when creating your landing page, there's there's, there's a, a, a layout that you're you need to follow, okay? And it's pretty simple, and we're going to go through that in today's video. So for now, let's find a design that we can start playing around with. I personally like the designs that actually have the contact form right up in the uh, in the uh, header above the fold. Here we go, I like this one. So we can either preview it and see what it looks like first before we choose it, or that's too small, we need something more. Back to templates. Let's try and come down a little farther. All right, here we go. Let's check this one out. That's a good one. Perfect. All right, so we will choose edit this page. We'll name the page. Let's say it's plumber. We're going to do a plumbing page. So we'll just name it plumber. Continue. So here we have our <clears throat> example page for this is a lead generation template, but obviously we can make it whenever we want. So there's a few different things you need to have on a landing page. Obviously, above the fold, we want our logo. We want our phone number, then you want your main call to action here, then you want your sub call to action. Now, usually in the sub call to action, I use this area to call out the location. So if we're, a if we're making a plumbing landing page, I'm going to say serving, you know, Philadelphia, Bucks County, Montgomery County, and surrounding area, something like that, which is my location. And I'm going to use this to be like, have a plumbing issue. We can have a tech out in 30 minutes or something like that to know that we can solve your problem right now today and we can do it fast. And then you have your little picture here, maybe of uh, the truck, the plumbing truck, or the company headquarters or whatever. I would never use a fake picture like this. And then your contact form, name, email, phone number, location is not important. I would just get rid of that. And then your testimonial here, this looks so fake. I would never use this. Below, what I would do here is remove this. And I would instead up, um, drop in images of facebook reviews of the company um, google reviews of the company and just take screenshots of them and just drop them in here social proof is huge for conversions you should have social proof on every single landing page you're running traffic to and facebook does convert the best from what i've seen and then below your um your main headline here and your your testimonials we're going to have we would put our services so we have a call main call to action for our services then we'd have different services here so we do something like um, sewer sewer repair or whatever, sewer drain repair, sewer line repair, um, 
whatever the plumbing stuff is, or home sink, faucet stuff, bathroom stuff, leaks, anything like that. And you have your services there. Then maybe like in this box, change up all this stuff and do like another call to action here or like a special coupon and put it in here and then list what you get if you call today for the coupon. Then I would drop more, I would get rid of these and drop more social proof testimonials. And then your final call to action here should be um, to call. I wouldn't do a form on the final call to action. I would actually do just do a phone number. You want phone calls. You don't want lead, lead, you don't want lead forms, okay? You don't want form submission leads. You want phone calls because phone calls convert into paying revenue for a company. I think it's like five times higher than a contact form submission. So we always want to be pushing phone calls. And then down here, I would have a privacy policy in terms of service. Google likes to see that stuff. And something else I would do under, I would actually add another block, to be honest with you, right here. So if you want to do that, we do this, insert block, global blocks. Let me find it real quick. Here we go. Insert new blocks. So that gives us another block here. And right here is where I would put a picture of the headquarters of our of the, comp the company. I would put the hours of operation, the actual address of the company, and a little about us. All right, so it's important that people understand who they're talking to, and that definitely helps. And then that's really it. I mean, that's the layout you should have of your landing pages. And this is so easy. Like if I wanted to do, you just change image, you change the number, it's just drag and drop. Everything is drag and drop. Move it around. And this little green line in the center shows you that everything's centered. So you can change whatever you want here. See what I mean? And it's, it's crazy. And then the forms integrate with any kind of, check this out, all the different um, integrations you can do with your forms. So you, it's extremely customizable, whatever, whatever you want to do. Images change, you can edit the images, whatever you want to do here. All of this stuff is drag and drop, editable. It's really cool. It's very simple, simple to do. Anybody can use this software. It's pretty incredible, actually. And then um, once you're done, you just hit publish and you make your page live. So let's say, well, we don't want to publish yet. So all right, let's say we we redid this entire page. I'm not going to make you guys watch me do this because it'll take forever. But let's say we're done here. We have the page we want. We're excited. We're ready to run traffic to it. You gotta hold your horses real quick. For next, we have to go up. We have to go from desktop. So you look at the desktop version. We have to go to the mobile version and make sure the mobile version looks good. Okay, that's really important. So we can see here we have our logo, we have our phone number. Here's our main call to action. That looks pretty good. I'd move that up a little bit. Um, I don't know if I like this picture here. So I would actually move this picture. Let's just put it up here for right now. Drop this down here. Drop this down here. Then we'll put the picture right here. Maybe something like that. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty good. Something like that. Then we would have our testimonial here. Our services here. You can see it's all nice and structured and laid out. All right, here's our block where we want to put our about our company, hours, the address, stuff like that. Obviously, we didn't do that. And then we would have more of our testimonials, social proof. Remember, we don't use fake pictures. Even if they're real, they, people won't believe them. Use social proof. I'm telling you. Trust me. You'll thank me later. It'll convert so high for you guys. And then your final thing here, call to action. Looks good. And then you would hit publish. Continue anyway. Name your page. Just do plumbing one. And you can obviously put this on a domain you have or anything like that. This is just the example page. So if you hit the URL, it's going to open up the page that we just created. And you'll have it live right here. Pretty cool stuff. Now we want to take this page and we want to put it into our folder. We just do that. And then you hit the little drop down and there's our folder. And now we have to create a thank you page that the form redirects to. That's really simple too. So we just go create new page, standard page, thank you page. And we'll just choose anyone for example sake here. Doesn't really matter. Example, thanks. 
All right, looks good. Publish. Obviously, guys, you want to actually do the page. And have all your codes and stuff like that on there, which I'll show you in a second. All right, so we have our example page. Let's move that into our folder. So here's our example thank you page. We'll take that URL. Now remember, you can always put these. You don't. This is example URL. You can always put these on a custom domain easily. All right. So we'll go back into our plumber landing page. And let's say we want to add this in here. We would just go to submission. URL save so now the fo this form is going to redirect right to that thank you page as soon as somebody f submits the form now if you want to drop conversion codes and stuff like that you just come to HTML you have the body footer you can drop codes in any of this stuff come up here to JavaScript you can do the same thing and that's how you put your codes in there so that's how you basically make a landing page and Insta page it's really simple all drag and drop I can't praise it enough as I said before, I'll drop a free trial link in the description below this video so you can come in here right now without adding a credit card or anything like that and just start playing around with stuff for free. If you guys have any questions about landing page design or anything like that, AdWords, whatever, drop them in the comment section below this video. Make sure, as I said, make sure you subscribe to our channel and um, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.